And, and I think that's right. I really believe that. That's, that's the most pessimistic proper statement. The worst case outcome in the worst of all possible worlds is that your life could be tragic but not hell. And that's a lot better than hell, right? It's, it's, and you think, I could give you an example of the difference. You're at your mother's deathbed. Well, that's tragedy. Here's another scenario. You're at your mother's deathbed and all you, you and all your idiot siblings are arguing. Well, that's the difference between tragedy and hell. And you might be able to tolerate the first circumstance and maybe it would even bring you closer together with your family members. The second one, no one can bear that. You walk away from a situation like that, sick of yourself and sick of everything else too. And you know, it's often the case that tragic circumstances bring out the dragons because the stress is high and all those things that people haven't dealt with, they don't have the energy to repress and, and all the bitterness comes pouring forward. It's like, seriously, man. You know, so that's actually a good, it's a rough lesson, but it's a good hallmark for figuring out whether or not you're, you've got yourself adjusted properly and in relationship to your siblings. It's like, if you were all gathered around the bed of someone close who was dying, could you manage it? And if the answer is no, it's like, well, put your life together because it's going to happen. And you should be the person who's there that can do it and do it properly. And then maybe you'd find that it isn't the sort of thing that will undermine your faith in life itself. And I've seen, I've seen both of those situations, you know, ugly, ugly, ugly situations, you know, murderously ugly situations. And then they're opposite where people have had terrible things happen to, happen to them as a family. And, you know, they pull together and they rebuild their damn ship and they sail away. And so that seems to me to be a lot better. That makes you Noah when the flood comes, 